Our justice system favors the criminal. And that is a reality. And we, the victims, get lifetime sentences. I will say it over and over again. They get all the support. They get all the support. And we, the victims, have little or no support or rights that are enforced. The reality is, as victims, we not only have to be a squeaky wheel, but also understand our rights and always make sure that what we say is accurate. Criminals get all the rights and the DA's office works for the state and not for us, not for the victims. You learn that very quickly. They tell you that. But I never thought the DA's office would repeatedly victimize me, or should I say, one narcissistic DA. I wanted to learn more about victims' rights, so I attended a state uh, victims' rights conference a few years ago, and this two-day conference was enlightening. And the speakers were dedicated victims' rights advocates. I learned a lot from this experience. Now, these are the victims' rights people paid by the DA's office. Now, a few victims' rights advocates mentioned that they sometimes struggle with a DA that is indifferent to the victims' rights. Now, I have met some excellent victims' rights advocates who work with for the DA, who truly believe in what they are doing and did the best job they possibly could for their victims. And I commend them. And where their paycheck comes from, again, remember and record every telephone call if you cannot get the DA's office to give you written information. During the process, my interactions with a specific individual within the system significantly magnified my PTSD symptoms. The mere mention of his name and the sound of his voice with me and him triggered an overwhelming emotional response. I would shake, cry. Let's put it this way, I was totally out of it. This wasn't a brief or isolated experience. It led to days filled with acute distress and has had a profound lasting effect on my mental health to this day. To this day, I don't want to face this person. And I'm a strong individual. Sharing the following with you is a challenging, but it is essential. It underscores the reality that victims must be vigilant and knowledgeable about their rights and how they engage with the legal system. And I hope that sharing my experience can help prevent others from enduring the same similar hardships that I did. This should have never happened.